Hello and welcome back to Dot Hack Outbreak. We may have beaten the game last episode, but we're not done yet. There are still plenty of extra things to do in Dot Hack Outbreak. I have a total of seven special areas that we need to go to, which is a big difference from like the two that they had in Infect. And I want to say it was like two or three in Mutation of different areas that you were supposed to go to. We're not even really supposed to go to. There are hidden areas that you would find the keywords for in the Dot .hack anime box set they would have something or in the DVDs that they had there would be keywords for you to go into one of the games and visit that area and there's usually a legendary item there uh, I did one episode where we did go do that with noisy sacred ringing ears and that's where we found a high leveled rare item it was a, an, a cap or an armor a lady's cap as I think is what it was but it wasn't that great and it stays in the storage now, but maybe it'll be better once we get all of the gear together. Who knows? We're going to figure that out. Also, we have new mail. We have new news articles, and I would not be surprised if I go into the world and see that there are new board posts as well. So, without further ado, let's get in the game. Oh, look at all of this mail we have to check. Uh, Mito Bandai cleared game data in a giant creature, which means we got another big old baddie to fight, and we're gonna go do that. Uh, Mito Bandai, congratulations on clearing Dot Hack Outbreak. You now have the data flag for Dot Hack Outbreak. Game data saved in this condition in yellow can be imported into the next volume. Data without the data flag will not be imported, so please be careful. You may continue with your adventure with the current data. The main story will not proceed. Items and experience obtained after clearing can be imported to the next volume so you can strengthen your character before you continue the story. Which is something I do plan on doing by going to these extra areas. We still have actually one thing on the word list we didn't clear because it was a high level thing and I just was not confident enough in our group that we could get through it, but I think we can now. Giant creature. There is a way to enter the body of the giant creature in the sky. To believe or not is up to you. Go to Delta Town and select Pulsating Sea of Cloud Whale. Oh, -ho. going into the giant, the body of the giant. That ought to be interesting. Maybe we fight its heart. You're going in to fight the small intestine. We'll see what happens. Wise man trading. Kite, as your friend, I'd like to put all business aside and provide you with cheap items. But as the head of the trade guild, this is just something I cannot do. Please understand. Okay. I traded with you already. Heroes Twilight Messengers. Our combination play has reached heavenly heights, but let us exceed all expectations and commit ourselves even more. Oh, Pyrrhos. Sandro, an American. I'm an American living in South Dakota. I've been interested in samurais ever since watching movies featuring Mr. Mifun. Here I teach Japanese to the local kids as a volunteer. Since I've used most of the samurai movies as lessons, the kids now talk like warriors. In my next mail, I'm going to write the way Sanjiro would speak. Oh. Well, all right. There is an American amongst us. Gardenia, be strong. Become strong. That way, I can. Okay. And then Natsumi. Um. Black Rose. You're so full of energy, and you're so cool. Compared to you, I'm really dull. I guess Kite prefers you over me, right? 
I don't think that was supposed to go to me. Moonstone, no subject. You are interesting to be with. All right, man, a few words. Marlo, weirdo. You're one weird kid. How can you be so serious in a game like this? It's a fake world. There's no reason to be so serious. You really are strange, you know that? And then Rachel, rules. No trust, no business. You better not hide anything from me. You got it? I can't do her accent. She's kind of a tough one for me. Nuke Usagamaru, talent. You seem pretty shy, but you end up taking the limelight. You got talent, kid. And then Tarajima Ryoko, friends. The only male friend I have is you, Kite. I hope we can continue to be friends for a long time. And there we go. Surprisingly, actually, nothing from Black Rose. Nothing from Mistral, Elk, Mia. Um, so yeah, I'm curious to see what the next uh, game is going to be like. News! Because we're not going to be doing any really story or friend, I guess, story advancing, things like that. Artificial Apple Project Abandoned! Artificial Apple Project Abandoned. It has been announced that the Artificial Nutritious Apple Cultivation Project at the Hiroshi Matsuyama Research Center will be discontinued. To recreate an environment suited to the apple would have cost an exorbitant amount of money. Hiroshi Matsuyama, the research center chief, has disappeared, leaving a note stating, Fragrant Apple Potato Taste. Our thoughts are with him. <laughs> so the apple came out tasting like a potato? Bigfoot. Bigfoot. The creature believed to be Bigfoot, whose footprints were previously found, has been captured. DNA analysis shows that the footprints belong to this creature. According to reports, characteristics differ slightly from the legendary Bigfoot, but it has been established that it is indeed a new species of ape. The Discovery and those in the town hope to classify this new species officially as Bigfoot. But due to the widespread nature of Bigfoot legends, protests over this name are expected. Huh. I don't ever remember hearing anything like that. I mean, clearly this has to be, you know, fake news that they made for this game. Uh, Pantheris Strike... was it Pantheris Strike Back? Oh, Panthers, Panthers. Panthers strike back. With a 15-game winning streak after the win against the Boston Bobcats, the New York Panthers take a five-game lead to jump ahead into first place in front of the Orlando Marlins. This is a first since the league began all dome games with 220 games per season at an average of four games per week. That's a lot of games, man. Uh, here we go. An ultimate rival? Question mark. An ultimate rival? Orange Computers Inc. of the United States has announced it is currently developing a completely new high efficiency OS that is intentionally incompatible with the ultimate OS. According to their spokesperson, Ultimate is definitely an advanced OS, but we believe that it is not in the market or society's best interest to standardize products. Our company has decided to develop an OS for the new generation in order to fully develop the computer industry and international community. The OS in development has been referred to by its codename Star Child. He's making David Bowie. Alright, uh, we're gonna go to the world. Let's go to the world. And there it is. Board post. Probably gonna have the Golden Goblin. Let's see, it's yeah, just the one. Let's play Tag Returns. Yeah! Author, Martina T. All of them lack the consciousness 
of a golden goblin gob. I'll show you the true powers of a golden goblin gob. Battle at Detestable Gambler's Gate, gob. Come alone, gob. Just realized too, I gotta fight three of them. By myself. Uh, so that's it. That's another thing that we have to go do. So let's log in. And let's get this done. I think what I'm going to do first is check out the hidden areas before we move on to doing like the after game things with fight the giant. Can I add me in? Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if like after the, the game is over it would let us. Let me see if it will let me add L. Sure, so I'll be in this drill. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Who is. We got Rachel at 67. Puros at 67. And Marlo at 67. Marlo's at 950. And 48. 947. So, Rachel. into the next secret area. We're gonna speed run a lot of these. Not going to the word list. Uh, going to the new keyword. And we're going to barking hot-blooded 500 low head. There's a spring here. Uh, before this, we're just gonna kinda not go through the field because it's lower level than what we're at. We're not going to get a lot of experience for it, so I'm not going to clear the field. But I am going to run to the dungeon and go through that looking for a particular rare item. And then I'm going to show you the parts of when I get the rare item, what it is, what it does, and then uh, move on to the next area. And kind of like how we did the last time when we explored these areas. So, be right back. Gath statue comes to our first rare item, the Magnolia Misu. The uh, Mongolia Misu is something that is a trade item, just like with the uh, three floor tower. So you just gotta find somebody who is looking for it and uh, get the item that they're offering. And then this is the other rare item that we're looking for. Ladies gloves. Just like the ladies hat, it is a level 73 rare hand armor. Gives us ranky lay, confuse a target, attack allies, enemy set time, curse the target, SP decreases with the time. I don't believe the stats were really anything crazy. So the next place we're gonna go is unusual ghostly remnants. Ladies mail is hidden somewhere in the dungeon and you receive a doll amulet from the god statues. And I'm sure this area is going to be very similar to the one that we were just at. Same monster encounter type things. Seems that's kind of how they were doing their monsters was based on the level of the area. Kind of ran into the same type of monsters. But we're going to do the same thing. We're going to run into the dungeon and then I'm going to show you the items when I get there. 
get to the statue, we get the doll amulet. Now somewhere in the dungeon is a lady's mail. We gotta find it, and I'd be careful going through these dungeons, because you'll be using data drain quite a lot. I'm in dangerous levels. And there's the last item we need, ladies mail. Also level 73 item. Uh, minus 10 to defense and evasion for physical. But a 30 accuracy on magical. Definitely wants you, I think this set wants you to stay back and just cast spells and it's looking like beacon spells. Get charm and uh, mumile, which is putting them to sleep to the moon. Oh, just to give you a warning too about these uh, hidden levels that you're going to, make sure that your data drain is at manageable levels because there's a lot of data bug monsters there, and the fact that they have a negative effect where you lose experience and lose levels sucks because I was at level 70 I'm now level 68 it's ridiculous I don't know who decided to do something like that or who greenlit that terrible choice all right now we head off to the next area ancient destroyers battlefield let's warp and here we're gonna find lady shoes and what is a scent of gear Here's the one item, lady shoes. Let's see what they do. What effects do they come with? It is level 73 for twin blade like me. We can get deck do, which slows down a target's speed, movement for set time, and dukli, which uh, poisons the target. And the last item, Scent of Jiro. Just another one of those wonderful trading treasures that we gotta find the person who wants it and get their special secret item that they have on there. All right, now we officially have all the ladies' items. Does something special happen when we use all of them? Do we get a special ability? Let's find out. I didn't read anything that said that we did. I'm just kind of thinking maybe because that's how the golden gob stuff works. And lastly, a ladies cap. It doesn't actually look like we do. That's just Suvele. Oh cool, we get fire up from it too. But we become the ultimate support character. I mean, look at all these different skills that we have. So we don't have any magical attacks whatsoever. Uh, if we go to strength, we only have up Corv now. Uh, we can do Fa Rep to be able to heal someone back to max, but we have all the weakened abilities. We can poison, we can paralyze, we can slow, we can charm, we can put people to sleep, we can confuse, we can curse. So we do all of the tarot cards. Me, personally, I'm going to keep the ladies' mail on there because of the sleep ability. And I'm thinking about keeping the one for paralyzed, but if I've got sleep, I might be able just to throw them to sleep. Alright, next we are heading to Greedy Gambler's Drift. This is a keyword that's found on the back of the Dot Hack Sign DVD Volume 5 Uncovered Cover. Uh, lady killers is hidden somewhere in this dungeon, which I'm assuming are twin blades. So maybe that's why we didn't get anything special, because we were missing the one last piece. I uh, will also receive boxed lunch from the god statue once we get there as well. And we got the lady killers. A little fast right there. Level 42 rare twin blades. Very nice. Let's see what they do. Your defense and evasion for both physical and magical go down by 5. Uh, 22 attack. 12 accuracy for physical. That's pretty nice. 
And then you can bless a target, recover SP with time, gives you regime. Opto, which speeds up a target. And Tiger Claws. So I guess, you know. Skill Drain, too, to help you keep on casting those weakened spells. And who knows what happens when everything's equipped. Maybe something wonderful and special happens. Alright, at the statue. Get boxed lunch. And now it's about finding the person to trade a box lunch to. Let's head back and see what happens when we put everything on. Oh, we found her. Alicia is the one who is looking for three floor tower and she'll trade us cat's hat for it. Boom. And now we got cat's hat. She also doesn't want to trade for uh, well water. I'm not doing that right now. We're not showcasing that. We're showcasing the cat set. Level 73 Wave Master gives you old rep and a rip mean. Revive target from a ghost. That's great. That's something to carry around with you. Um, minus two to your physical attack. Kind of a bummer. I figured you get invasion up because it's a cat, but you get it in your magical section. So accuracy and evasion go up there. But yeah, maybe I'll hang on to the cat's hat and use Ripine. I mean, I've got so many resurrects though, so maybe not. I don't know. But, but we're gonna we're gonna make sure we hold tight on that. All right, now we're gonna try equipping the full lady set now that we have the lady killers, and see if that does anything special. Doesn't look like it did. It's all still kind of the same stuff with the exception of like what we get from doing the uh, uh, lady killers that we equipped. Let's see what they look like too. They're the cross daggers, got kind of a golden rose look to them. Pretty nice. Um, our steals are kind of lacking though. No magic attacks. We get Tiger Claws, a level 1 attack, but they don't really want us attacking. They want us supporting by getting people to have uh, SP recovery and increased movement speed. And then just hitting them with a slew of weaken abilities. That's all this set wants you to do. They just want you to weaken. Just weaken everything. Not really my playstyle, but uh, I do like being able to put targets to sleep. And not having to rely on the moon, because we're kind of in a short supply. I think that's going to conclude this episode. We went through, showed you how to get the lady set. Got some more stuff to do in Dot Hack Outbreak with reading the mail, getting the different word sets. But we visited, got a few different areas. How many areas did I go to? Four? Four different areas? Struggled to uh, get through some of those because I did not realize I needed my data train because there's a lot of data bugs in those areas and uh, even had to stop part way through to go back to the field and uh, get my data drain back in order. And we lost two levels doing data drain. How fun is that? Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Dot Hack. I said episode. And I'll see you in the next game of Dot Hack Outbreak. Goodbye.